Hey everybody, Jill Karen from SEO Tool View here to introduce you today to Mangools. Mangools is actually a full suite of SEO tools. They have a keyword finder for your keyword research, SERP Watcher, which is your rank tracker, SERP Checker, which allows you to view the search results for a specific keyword so you can see the competitive nut competitiveness of it. Um, link Miner is the backlink analysis tool so you can find backlinks from your competitors or for your own site to analyze your own data. And then Site Profiler which is just a general metrics um, report just to get an overview of how a website's doing. So we'll get started with this just because it'll only take a second. So I'm going to look at my old site Two Dogs Design. As you may or may not know I did sell this. I'm no longer the owner of it. Um, so for Two Dogs Design, it'll give you, you know, a little menu bar on the left and you can kind of get a feel for how it's doing. Um, the domain authority and page authority are from Moz, citation flow and trust flow are from uh, Majestic, just a couple details here. There is an Alexa rank, I'm not sure why it's not pulling that. Um, backlink profile, just gives you an overview of all the backlinks. Top content is the pages with the most backlinks. That's kind of how it's deciphered most important is by the number of backlinks that it has. But this also does correspond with um, how much traffic a page is getting. So like this is one of our top performing posts. Uh, this is a top performing post. This is actually a lead gen post for us, which does really well. Um, so it's just a good trick there. You can also do by Facebook shares if you wanted to. Um, and then competitors just gives you an idea of who the competitors may be based on the keywords that the site is ranking for. Um, so just a little overview. I don't really use it too often, but I did want to show it to you because that's my job. Link Miner is where you find your backlinks. Now you can find just new backlinks or lost backlinks for a website. I'd rather just do all. So if I put in twodogsdesign.com, I'm going to find backlinks and it'll pull up all the backlinks that it can find. Guys, no matter what tool you use to find backlinks, it's never going to find them all. So if you're looking for that tool, uh, as far as I know, it does not exist. Um, all the tools combined, you know, may help you pull all your backlinks because they all have different ways of searching the web. Um, so, you know, you may know that you have, like, I know I have backlinks that don't show up in this list, um, but it's a guide. Again, any tool that you use is a guide. It's not something that you should be so focused on and, you know, expect 100% deliverance because you won't get it. Um, so with that said, so here is your backlinks. I'm going to actually go ahead and sort by, I guess I'll do citation flow. All right, so you can see, you know, I have the Moz blog feed press, uh, SEO roundtable, liquid web, and you can see LS is the link strength, um, which this comes from a metric that Mangles has created based on all these other metrics. So anything in red is obviously a strong backlink. Um, orange is a good backlink and then green is a little less important. So you can see how you're doing at a glance. I can click on, uh, let's see if I want to click on, let's try this one. So if I click on this, what it does, it shows me the page and it scrolls down to the link. Okay, and that's one of the things I really love about this. I don't know about you, but you know, sometimes I go to a page and I'm trying to find out where my link is and I don't know. So this is a really great way of seeing. So you see who owns the website is my anchor text. You can see it here. Okay, and I can look at it on a desktop. I can look at it on a mobile. Okay, so they give you these couple of options as well. Um, so this is really a cool thing. You can see the citation flow of the website that's linking to you, the trust flow, the EL, which is the external links from the page. Obviously, the less external links from a page, the better it is going to be for you. You don't want to be on a page linking to you um, that has like 50 other links on it that devalues your link. So this is a good way to see you know, where you're getting most value from. Facebook shares of the page that's linking to you the Alexa rank of the page that is linking to you, what page is being linked to on your website. So for this one, it's web developer, uh, web developer holding website hostage. It's one of my most popular posts, the anchor tag that's being used, and then how um, authoritative or the strength of the link. So great information here. You can load more. Okay. You could look at just a no follow, do follow if they're active or deleted. Okay. And then, um, you can just get an idea from your competitors, you know, put a competitor in here and see if you can be inspired um, to try and get backlinks from other locations. So that's the backlink tool. And again, I, I this I just love. I, I haven't really seen this anywhere else. So if I did, let's try another one here. Um, 
da -da -da -da. trying to find one that has a good here tons of recommendations so this was one so Neil Patel um, linked to me for this one for a uh, Yoast focus for the keyword tool so you can really get an idea of where that link is and I just love that so all right so that's it for link miner have fun with that one SERP Watcher is your rank tracking tool. I did not populate this too much. I just put a couple keywords in here from a website. Um, give that give back to animals, true resistant dog bed. You can see I rank number three. Um, I'm down one from the last check, which would have been yesterday. I think they do it daily. Um, average positions 2.4. My best position so far has been two. The estimated search volume and the estimated visits per month based on my average rank. Um, so that's kind of helpful to try and get an idea of where you can improve. You can look at desktop and mobile. I did not set this up for mobile, but you can do it separately. And you can choose states as well. Um, if you have a huge list, you can filter by different items. And you can actually tag these. So if, <clears throat> when I do my rank tracking, I like to tag for affiliate keywords versus informational keywords. Um, so the different types of keywords I do usually tag. I didn't do it here, but you can add tags, which is awesome. So if I wanted to look a little deeper, I can see the performance over time. Okay, so you can see for the last month, you know, I'm kind of hanging in there. <laughs> so that's good. Um, if I had competitors, it would show me top gainers or losers. Obviously, I'm losing here. Um, or sorry, these are the top gainers from my own site. So if I had a site that was jumping up 10, 10 spots, it would show here. Um, clearly, I'm just a loser, so all my loser numbers are here. Estimated visits, you can see it goes down when I lose a spot, goes back up, goes down when I lose a spot. And again, these are all just estimates, guys. These are not married. Um, it would be interesting to see what the volume of traffic I get to this for this keyword would be. Um, I don't know if there's a way I could figure it out, but probably somewhere. Um, I'd love to see if I am getting just 45 visits a month from this. Um, keyword position flow, how many went down, how many went up. Keyword position distribution, I don't have any in the first spot. I have one you know, in the second, third, fourth through 10th. So a really great visual here of how well it's doing. Um, you can run reports, you can share, you can export. There's a lot you can do in here. Um, so just a really cool tool. Um, you can add new tracking. You, I, there's so many things you can do in here. Uh, white labels, more if you're doing it for clients. So that is your rank tracker. And then you've got your SERP checker. So this is kind of a cool tool. Um, let's look for best SEO tools. Say I wanted to get SEO tool view to rank for best SEO tools, which would be a life goal, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. So when I type this in, I look at United States and desktop. And then I can see the results. Okay, so it's telling me there's a top carousel, there's some Google ads, which is probably really expensive. And then you've got your um, organic listings. You've got PC Mag, Oberlo. Then there's a people also ask section. And then AREFs, Tech Radar. And you can see them going down the rest of the way. And if you scroll down, you might even find some more goodies. Um, so that's it. It's just re the rest are just organic listings. Sometimes I'll see like people also ask in here and things like that. It's going to show you exactly how the search results look, which is really kind of neat. So what I'm looking at when I'm checking this spot out, okay, I'm seeing it's a really hard keyword to rank for. It's super competitive. Okay. Um, features impact. My understanding of this is it measures the impact of SERP features in, on organic results engagement. So it's kind of showing what the level in my, in my idea of what it is, is that it's showing you the level of engagement you're getting on click-throughs. Um, so this is a good one. It, you're probably getting more click-throughs when you're ranking than some other things that you might be trying to rank for. Um, so I don't really use this too much, but I think it's, it's probably helpful in some way. Okay, so here is the... Um, Again, link profile strength based on the Mangles uh, reference. Obviously, these are all super hard. Anything red or orange in here is hard. Anything green is fairly easy. Um, so you can see, I mean, this is super. This is a super competitive term. Okay, the domain age on these is huge. Uh, the domain authority, I mean, the um, page authority is pretty high. Uh, citation flow is pretty good for most of these. Trust flow is pretty good for most of these. Facebook shares. Okay. Then you've got your Alexa rank, external backlinks going to these sites, which you can see are huge, referring domains, and then the referring IP addresses. Okay, so all this information is showing me I don't have a chance in hell of ranking anytime soon. 
if I wanted to see, if I did have a site that was worth putting this in for, I would. Um, but say I wanted to see how uh, Two Dogs Design is doing with this. Okay, I want to see if I have a chance of even, I may not be ranking in the top 10, but let me see how I'm doing. All right, so I'm a green 32. Yeah, I don't have a chance here. 38, mm, not really. 17, not even close. So I wouldn't even attempt to rank for best SEO tools, even on a site that is authoritative. Um, I, I'm not going to beat these guys. I'd have to do something really amazing and get a ton of backlinks really fast. Um, so, uh, so that's everything for the search SERP uh, checker. Um, you can actually click here and get a little more information. So if I wanted to see, let me take a look at hmm, Neil Patel. So say we want to look at his backlinks. This will take you right into the backlinks for that specific page. Okay, Neil Patel blog, seven free SEO tools. You can see, so Quick Sprout, a shoot for the edit, you know, Smart Bug Media. These are all people that are linking to this page. Maybe these are people I can reach out to and see if they'll link to me as well. You know, once I get more content, once I get more authority, maybe they'd want to rank to me as well or link to me as well. So I might want to reach out to some of these people. So it's just an easy way to be able to see right from here um, the competitiveness and the, the backlinks that they have. Site profiler, again, this is just for this specific page. And you can see he's got a ton of authority for this page. So um, again, competitive, but lots of great information here. And then last, you've got your keyword finder, which is where your keyword research is. So let's do best SEO tools in the United States and English, or you could search by domain. So say I want to put Neil Patel's site in here and see all the keywords he rank ranks for. I can do that as well. We're just going to use this for now, find keywords. And I just love this. I just think it's so clean and easy. So best SEO tools, you can see it's highlighted. That's what we're on right now. You can see the trend is pretty stable. There's no major ups and downs. You can see best free keyword research tool has really gone down in the search volume, um, which is really interesting. So best SEO tools, there's about 1800 searches a month over the last 12 months. The cost per click, you can see it's really expensive. So one click is going to cost you 13 bucks. Uh, pay per click, it's a pretty competitive phrase at 42. So there's a lot of competition for this term, even in pay per click. And then again, the, the keyword difficulty. Um, obviously, you know, these are all really difficult terms to rank for. You can also choose autocomplete to get an idea of um, the terms that are showing up in the autocomplete in Google. So when you type in a keyword and you see that little drop down, it gives you other ideas to consider. Um, that's where this is generating this content from. So I'm just going to let this run because I do want you to see it. It doesn't really look much different, but it may give you quite a bit of additional terms that you may have not considered. So best SEO tools, and now you can see all these other options, best SEO tools for small business, best SEO tools, SEO tools for beginners. Um, so just some more in-depth, you know, longer keywords that may be beneficial. Maybe you could do additional posts, smaller volume keywords. And then there's also the questions, which are usually the ones that are at the bottom of the search results. You can do that as well. Okay, so we're going to go back to related keywords for a minute. Okay, so from here, you can actually say I find a keyword that I do think I can actually um, optimize for, like best SERP checker. Okay, I can click this. I can add it to my list of, I'll put it in my test list, add keywords. Okay, so now I got a new keyword that I can look at and write content around. Um, so I'm going to put that in my list. So this is a great way to just easily see where there's some low-hanging fruit you might not have thought of, SCM Rush free alternative. Um, I can see if there's anything I can do for that. Maybe I'll add that to my list. Okay, but for now, let's go. I'm actually going to look at this one. Best SERP checker. I'm going to click on this. Okay, and what this is showing me is the SERP overview. So these are the top 10 ranking pages. Okay, you can see these guys have a featured snippet, the digital merchant. Okay, I can see um, the URL that's ranking, domain authority, page authority, citation flow, trust flow backlinks to the site, their Facebook shares, link profile strength, and estimated visits per month they're getting. Okay, so even in this position, they're only getting about 58 is the estimate. I would say they're probably getting a lot more than that. Um, but again, it's all just averages. So this um, 
shows you that it's an easier word. It shows you the search volume over a period of time. You can see the trend for the volume for the search term. So apparently there was like a little bump last year and then it kind of flattened out again. Um, and then from here, if you want to dig even deeper, like right now, okay, maybe I can, maybe I have a chance based on what I'm seeing here. Maybe my website has a chance. Well, now I can click analyze SERP and go, it'll take me to the SERP checker, which we looked at a few minutes ago. And now I can really see what's going on. So this gives me just a little more information. Um, so these are telling me I might have the opportunity to rank. I'm obviously not going to beat Shout Me Loud, but some of these other ones I could possibly try and beat. Okay, so it'll take you right in there for, for what you need. Um, try and think what else we should cover here. Best free keyword, same thing. It'll give you all the information. And then you can analyze the SERP. Okay. And a couple of other things they have, which are kind of cool, that kind of sums up everything from the um, perspective of the tools that they have. They also do have a browser extension. So what that does, it puts the extension in your browser. When you're on somebody's website, you'll be able to easily see what keywords are ranking for, what their page authority, domain authority is, the backlinks they have. It's actually really cool. You do need to be subscribed to Mangles to use the browser tool. Okay. But it is, it's kind of neat. The volatility checker, I know they, you know, all the tools kind of have their own, just kind of see, you know, the volatility of the keywords. Is there a lot of movement going on in the search results? And then the last one is a SERP simulator. I do like to use these. Um, so say, uh, I'll just do this one. I'll do two dog, two dogs design. It's going to pull in everything um, to give you an idea of how your result might look in the search engines. Okay, so my it's telling me my meta description might be a little bit too long. Um, my title, it looks pretty good. I might want to change it. Maybe I want to capitalize it, not capitalize it. Um, you know, it gives you just a bunch of different ideas and ways you can play around, and then you can change it. Uh, they have a whole little tutorial on the bottom for you as well. And that's it. So that is Mangles. Um, if you want to know the pricing, there's two kinds of pricing packages, annual and monthly. Obviously, you're saving a lot of money with the annual. That's what I subscribe to because I like to save money. Um, so the annual pricing puts it at $30 a month, which is like $360 a year, uh, $40 a month, which is four something a year, and this is about $900 a year. If you go to monthly, then you can see it's almost $50 bucks a month, $70 bucks a month, and $130 a month. So um, highly recommend doing annual if you're going to do it just to save the money. Pretty sure once you start using it, you're probably going to like it. And they're really good with um, their tutorials. They have a lot of great content on their blog and a lot of great tutorials as well, tools, guides, SEOpedia. So there's a lot of great information from these guys. I love their marketing. Um, so I would love to hear what you think. So I hope this was useful. If you love it, let me know. Um, and if you decide to try it out, please leave a comment. Let me know how it goes for you. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.